Hello developers this video is part 2 of Eplobin Facebook bidding for Sketchware user if you did not watch part 1 video then watch part 1 video first before starting the video please subscribe our channel and like the video open project store and click on the library option now search facebook adapter on the search bar after searching download the facebook adapter 6.8.0 after downloading completed again search audience network library Now download Audience Network SDK 6.8.0. After downloading completed, again search Eplovin SDK and download 10.3.4 version. You can see I have downloaded all the three libraries. Now select the files option and click on the search bar. Now search network security config and download the network security config.xml file. After downloading completed, press back and again search audience network.dex file. You can see all the files has been downloaded. If you did not have Eplovin blocks then download the eplovin.json file. Now open Sketchware and create a new project. In the package name option you have to write original package name which in the Eplovin. Now add a layout for banner ad and add a button for interstitial ad. Now set the banner layout height 60 dp. Do not leave it wrap content or match parent. Now click on the three dots and click local library option. Here select all the three libraries which you have downloaded. After selected press back and click on the asset option. Now click on the add files and go to download folder. Now click on the Tech Studio folder. Again go to the Sketch File folder. Now select Audience Network dot Dex file and save it. After selected Asset file, click on the Resource option. Now create a folder here. Give the name XML. After created XML folder, click on it. Now click on the Add Files option. Go to the sketch file folder again and select network security config.xml file. Now press back and click on the permission and select internet permission and access network state permission. After added permission click on the library. Now click on the app compacts and design and enable it. Again click on the Firebase and add your Firebase IDs here. If you did not want Firebase on your project then you can write anything here. Now click on the add mob and also enable it. Now press back and click on the Android manifest option. Again open project store and click on the codes. Now search here Eplovin manifest. After searching click on the Eplovin manifest. 
Now copy this codes and open sketcher and paste in the app components. After paste it, press back and again open project store. Now search again audience network manifest and click on it. Copy these codes also and paste in the app components. Now save this and go back to the event. Click on the plus icon and add activity import. Now click on the import and open project store again. Now search app login imports here. Copy all the codes one by one and paste in the imports. After paste all of this, log into your app login account. Now click on the keys and copy the SDK key. After copied, open Sketcher again and go to the app components. Now paste it in your key and save it. After doing all of this, open on create method. Now initialize the audience network SDK. You can download audience network blocks from project store. Click on the Applovin blocks and initialize the Applovin SDK. After initialize, put the block for banner ad. Now also put the blocks for interstitial ad. Now go to the variable and click on the add custom variable and type here max interstitial add space int1. Now click on the interstitial block and type int1. After this set layout for banner add. Now paste the add unit IDs which we had created in the previous video. After add the add unit IDs, create a string variable. You have to create this string variable for checking add is loaded or not. Put this string in on create and set its value false. Also put this when the add is loaded and set its value true. Now press back and go to the button one click option. Here put the if then else block. If the string value is true then put the show add block. Now press back and run the project. After compiled successfully, do not install it and again click on the three dots. Now scroll down and click on the code editor. After this click on the android manifest. You can see android manifest file is visible here. Now write a code in the application tag. I will give this line in the description. This is a optional step, you can skip this. Now again run the project and install it. After installed successfully, open Facebook monetization manager. Now go to testing and add your test advertising IDs.
after save the advertising ideas enable the testing also enable use real advertisers content this is most important for bidding you have to do this before uploading on the play store now open the app and wait for the ad loading you can see facebook real ads is showing here but you will not get money before uploading on the play store You can see here the bidding integration is successful. Now like and share the video and subscribe the YouTube channel.